What is up, everybody? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys with some breaking news for this year's, for the modern era, for the inductees, for the 2020 Pro Football Hall of Fame. Obviously, this is a way bigger class with some of the other people that, that got put in earlier, like, for example, with the two coaches, Jimmy Johnson and Bill Cowher, getting in early, and then also a while back, Paul Tagliabu was added in there, <coughs> and Steve Sable of NFL Films, along with... Uh, some of the older players, like one of them was Harold Carmichael, but this is the modern one for for the modern Hall of Fame for like so Pro Football Hall of Fame 2020 inductees. The modern these are the modern era inductees that were just announced today, and these are the ones I was gonna go over today. So now here's your official inductees for the modern era for the 2020 Pro Football Hall of Fame class. First up, Steve Atwater played for the Denver Broncos from 1989 to 1998. And won and won a Super Bowl with it won two Super Bowls with with the Broncos too and he had one of the most memorable Monday night hits on Christian Okoye too I remember when they talked about Steve Atwater they always talk about that hit that he pulled on Monday Night Football on the Nigerian Nightmare free safety Broncos one of the hardest hitting safeties in NFL history Atwater helped the Broncos win back to back Super Bowls to close out the 1990s the 20th overall pick in the 89 draft atwater earned eight pro bowl selections over a nine-year span he also he was also a two-time all pro and is a member of the broncos reign of honor his pivotal sack forced fumble of former packers quarterback brett Favre in the super bowl that helped denver pull off one of the greatest upsets in sports history up next isaac bruce who played with the greatest show on turf st louis rams originally drafted in 94 when the Rams were playing in their original final year in LA way before the move back over 20 years later. Isaac Bruce played for the Rams from 94 to 2007 and the 49ers from 08 to 09. A four-time Pro Bowler, Bruce recorded 1,024 receptions for 15,208 yards and 91 touchdowns during his prolific career. He was one of the key players in St. Louis' greatest show on turf offense that took the league by storm from 99 to 2001. In Super Bowl... 34 his was yes yeah, he I think it was Super Bowl 34 because of no it's uh, what what Super Bowl is the greatest show on turf hold on yeah I can't get off of Google so fuck it so Super Bowl XXX IV his 73 yard touchdown catch and run led the Rams to a 23 to 16 victory over the Tennessee Titans which we all know Mike Jones made that tackle to stop uh Kevin Dyson one yard short that was how that Super Bowl ended so Sometimes, you know, can't really think of the numbers for the Super Bowl. I I think that was Super Bowl 34, because I know Super Bowl 35 was won by the Baltimore Ravens, and then 36 was the first New England Patriots won before the Super Bowl 37. So, yeah, it was Super Bowl 34, so it's my bad. Up next, this is one of my personal, this is one of my favorites, because he played a long time, he played like five years with us, and he also played six, played six years with the Vikings, but this was one of my favorite guys, Steve Hutchinson. Hutchinson finally getting into the Hall of Fame. Left guard, Seahawks, 2001-05, Minnesota Vikings from 06 to 2012. Hutchinson, one of the best linemen of his era, earned seven straight Pro Bowl selections from 03 to 2009. That included five All-Pro selections. Now, I used to watch Hutchinson and Walter Jones. I remember he. I remember when he came into and he and Walter Jones. He and Walter Jones were basically the reason Sean Alexander had that MVP season in 2005. And all those touchdowns. It was that how good our offensive line was back in that year. And 2005, that season for the Seahawks, which that was my second year with season tickets, because I was because my first year with the season tickets was 2004. I I for all those for two years I got to watch to watch Jones and Hutchinson just dominate the line of scrimmage, and that was the best that our running game has ever been was because of those two guys on that offensive line. So huge congratulations to Steve Hutchinson. I was real. I was really happy to finally hear it. I saw Walter Jones's Instagram post talking about it, so, and I just left the post on there. Like, finally, I remember we used to watching you two dominate on the line of scrimmage back back in the day. Just had some good reminis good times reminiscing about Steve and Walter together on that O line. Up next, Edrin James, the running back from the for the Indianapolis Colts from 1999 to 2005, Arizona Cardinals from 06 and 07, and he played only one season with the Seahawks, but I mostly remember Edrin James as an Indianapolis Colt. Edrin came out the same year that 
that one running back, Ricky Williams, came out. The one that was drafted by the New Orleans Saints. It was one of the busts. And, you know, I mean, he actually, Edron James actually went before 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 Ricky did. And and I remember remember hearing, some. there was something about that when uh, Bill Polian made that draft pick. He felt, and some fans for the Colts weren't a big fan of it at first because because of Ricky being available, and but then Edron turned Edron James turned out to be the better choice, and I know he lost that Super Bowl against Pittsburgh in Super Bowl Forty Three as an Arizona Cardinal, a rushing champion in each of his first two NFL seasons. James retired after eleven seasons with twelve thousand two hundred forty six rushing yards and eighty touchdowns. James teamed up with Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison to form one of the NFL's all time offensive triplets during the late nineties, early two thousands. Up next, Troy Polamalu. Safety, Steelers, tw- 2003 to 2014. Greatest strong safety of his era, Paul Amalu, was an eight-time Pro Bowler, four-time All-Pro, and the 2010 Defensive Player of the Year. Paul Amalu helped anchor the Pittsburgh defense that helped the Steelers win two of three Super Bowl appearances, which obviously I'll talk about the Arizona one because I don't want to talk about, obviously you know why. <laughs> 2005, we don't fucking speak about that. <laughs> yeah, but... um. Yeah, his pick six late in the 2008 AFC Championship help game helped Steelers on the path to their to their then record six Lombardi Trophy, and that's basically the modern era classes. And the other the other names that got in there for the Hall of Fame obviously coaches Bill Cowher, Jimmy Johnson, senior inductees Harold Carmichael, Jim Covert, Bobby Dylan, Cliff Harris, Winston Hill, Alex Karras, Donnie Shell, Duke Slater, Max Speedy. Ed Sprinkle, and then contributors Steve Sable, NFL Films, Paul Tegliboo, the commissioner that was before Roger Goodell, and George Young. And that's basically the class. So thank you guys for coming in really quick. Give me your thoughts in the comments on the Hall of Fame class, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You ain't with it, you ain't infamous.